Let me tell you the most common questions I hear when it comes to the listening section of the IELTS exam. What if I miss something important? What if I don't understand everything? What if I miss the answer I need? Well, let's get started. What if I don't understand everything I hear? Well, here's some good news. You really don't have to understand everything. The key strategy in the IELTS listening section is not to try to understand everything, but to develop the skill of picking out the key information. And you'll want to do this while avoiding the distraction of all the information you don't need. So how do you do this? By using a strategy called the keyword strategy. This is where you mark keywords and make notes to identify the specific information you need. So first of all, names are important. Whenever you see the proper name of a person, a place or company, circle it. For example, if you need information about Mr. Smith, you'll listen for what is said about him. You'll be able to avoid being distracted by information about Mrs. Brown or Mr. Jones. And secondly, dates and times are important too. Put a box around dates and times. If you want to focus on what happens at 6 p.m. or on June 21st, you don't want to be distracted by what happens at 8 p.m. or on June 30th. So use prepositions as clues, like in, on, or at. For example, in the morning, on January 17th, or at 5 p.m. And this leads me to the third type of word, extreme words. And they may be the most important words in helping you identify important information. These extreme words are actually making use of your grammar knowledge and understanding different word forms. More than any others, they help you narrow down and limit the options. For example, underline adverbs like always or never, adjectives like first or last, large or small, and superlatives and comparisons are the most helpful words in the listening section. Words like good, better, and best. So make sure you develop your own marking system and practice it until it becomes automatic. Now let me just finish up with one more comment about underlining and making notes, and it has to do with the instructions. Paying attention to instructions is one of the most important skills to exercise when it comes to the exam. Don't ever forget to do this. Underline the instructions you read and make notes about the instructions you hear. There is nothing more distracting or time wasting than to get a question and have to go back and look at the instructions to make sure you're doing it correctly. Well, that's all my tips for now. If you have any questions or need support, don't hesitate to contact me by email. Follow me on my Facebook page or visit my blog page for more IELTS insights. All the links are in the comments. And all the best in your journey.